a rectangular prism, uh, what we want to do is we want to find the total area of the object. Meaning, I want to find the area of this front face, this top face, the bottom face, which is you can't see, this right side, the left side, and the far back side. All right, so I want to find the area of every single one of them. And I want to add them all up, and them all combined is going to give me the surface area. So beside, before we start even doing our calculations, the first thing I want to do is, well, how many sides do I have? I have a front and a back, that's two. I have a right and a left, that's four. And I have a bottom and a top, that's going to be six. And then one thing that's important for you guys to remember, um, since we're dealing with a rectangular prism, just like you know the rules of a rectangle, you're going to have two opposite and equal sides. The exact same thing is going to be true with your uh, when you're dealing with the prism. The right side is going to be exactly the same as the left side. The top is going to be exactly the same as the bottom. And the front is going to be exactly the same as the back. So what I can do is rather than trying to calculate both of them, I can just multiply one of them by two. So what I'll do is I'll say two times the front slash back. And that's the area of the front and back. Plus two times the, let's do the right slash left side, and that's area, again, plus two times the um, bottom and top. And what that equals is surface area. So to do this, the first thing we got to look at is how are we going to find out what is the area of the front? Well, the area of the front and the back, which are exactly the same, is going to be 15 times 9. Because remember, um, a rectangle is going to be length for a rectangle, or you know, um, it's going to be your length times your width. So I have 15 times 9 is going to give me 134. Then the area of the right and the left. Well, the right side and left side are, are a 9 by 9 rectangle, which we like to call a square. 9 times 9 is 81. And the bottom and the top are also going to give me um, 134. But remember, I have to multiply each one of these by 2. So what I'm going to look like is 2 times 134 plus 2 times 81 plus 2 times 134. 2 times uh, 134 is a 268 plus it's going to be 162 plus 268. Oh. Um, so to do all of this in your head, I just don't even want to do it all in my head. So I'm just going to make sure that we do it all correctly. Just like you learned back in the day, you can do it in your head, which is not a problem. I could probably go and give my best estimates quickly, but just to make sure if you guys don't have a calculator and you can't you know, figure it out in your head, you can always write it down like you first learned. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 2 is 18. This gives me 19. 2, 4, 5, 6. 698 is your surface area. So surface area equals 698. And we'll take a unit squared. So I'm um, marking that all the way down. I know it kind of looks a little sloppy. But just remember when doing the surface area to make sure you find every single side and if you're dealing with a rectangle prism or something that's going to have um, you know, symmetrical sides, you don't need to find the value of every side. You can just multiply those same sides by two, and you'll get the exact same answer. So that's how you find the surface area of a rectangle prism.